Greetings, I'm Devane and welcome back to Let's Play Avernum. Um, sorry I'm a bit throated at the moment. Uh, my girlfriend's been off with a throat infection and it appears that I've picked it up. But, you know, what can you do? My voice, is, well I've still got a voice, I'll be doing these Let's Plays. I mean, they're bad enough already. But I don't think they could get much worse, to be honest. If you remember, we had just finished exploring the inn in Silvar. Haven't really done much. We met Chuck, who didn't want to talk to us, and we met the innkeeper Gary, who asked us um, if we can find a hot spring. We also found Anastasia. So when we go back to Fort Vernon, which we will on our way back, most likely we will go and. To let him know. Right now, what I'm going to do is wander around and try and fill in the auto map because you'll get things like this where you can see there's a room, and roughly how big the room, and it does help you. And you also get to do things like up rocks which is useful considering they're throwing weapons for militia so free throwing weapons for militia they're not everywhere but they're enough to make sure that you've got enough to keep going so they're worth looking for especially given how weak you are after all they've been thrown into Avernum after um committing some sort of crime we don't even know about and now we're trying to find what we can do really so look at this, what's this? you read the sign, Gruber's weapons out of business interesting the door is locked, we will leave that and down here and we have Who's this? You read the sign. Krantz Boat Works. Hmm. Let's have a look in here. Just some trash. It's not worth anything. We'll leave the trash there. And let's go. Let's talk to this, who's probably Krantz. Yes, you meet a burly man. He's wearing a belt covered with tools. His skin is incredibly pale, almost translucent. If you don't mind me asking, yes, why is everyone's skin so pale? He laughs and looks at the back of his hand. The lacework of red and blue veins can be seen clearly underneath the skin. If you were born down here, far from the sun, you would look like this too. Give it time, soon you'll be pale enough. Pale enough. Okay, what do you build here? I make boats. There's a big call for them in these caves. You can get one for not much gold. He shakes his head. Hope you do. The slips have been held for my business. Anyway, if you want to purchase one, say so. They're on sale. 350 gold. Where do the slips live? There's a droves of them to the west on the other side of that huge lake. And they pretty much own it. People don't fish there anymore. Too risky, of course. People also need boats to get to the Great Cave to the south. We didn't have slips on the surface. No. The Slifts Zerikai, as far as I know, only live down here. Not all of them are evil. I've heard that there's a settlement of them somewhere who get along with humans. Most of them, though, crave our flesh. They can swim for a long time underwater. We, on the other hand, need boats like mine to get around. Only 350 gold. And of course, we'll try to pay for it. We can't. Do you know how much craftsmanship goes into every one of these boats? If you can't pay me, I can't give you one. Alright, have a nice day. So, that's the boat works. Let's have a look. Oh, we can have... We will take the hammer. That's nice. And some more pieces. Yeah, now try doing it with no tools. This is the world of looting everything. Okay, we are in here, let's search the shelf, we have 
pair of pants and some mushrooms. They're not ours. We won't bother stealing them. Some dice which are ours. Are ours. We will. And we can use the dice. You roll the dice. They add up to three. Yay. Try that again, shall we? You roll the dice. They add up to eight. Basically, they're 2d, they're 2d6. Kind of. It's a fun little version, but there's not much. Come out here. Now, if we had a boat, we could go out over there, but we don't know. Like there's something interesting there, it's a body. But it's stuck behind whatever that wall is. So. Exploring pays off, we will look back around here. I will also notice that that looks like that's Gruber's. Who's this guy? She's Jay. Ah, so he's going for a wander. Can they do? Talk around, there's some guards. See who's this? Okay, this is City Hall. Okay, let's go and have a look in City Hall. Shall we? Let's talk to Jonathan. A man in nice, well cut robes shuffles papers behind the desk. A fine cloth sash, only somewhat worn, crosses his chest. He seems pleased to see you. Greetings to you. What do you do here? I am the mayor of this fine city and a member of the Avernum Council. Keeps me busy. This town has a mayor? Yes. I settle the odd disputes. I order the troops. If and when we get attacked, I marshal the defences. And I take care of the records. It's a lot of work. Where are the records kept? In the room to the west. Go help yourself. Not very interesting, true, but necessary. I keep track of everybody I find who comes to a burn. Someday people will want to know what happened down here, and when they do, my records will be here. Okay, let's see what else is there. Greetings. What is the Avernum Council? Well, Avernum has six large cities, and this is one of them. The mayors of each form a council, which co rules with King Micah. It works very well, actually, and I'm proud to be a member. Does the Empire know that we have a government down here? The Empire may control everyone and everything on the surface, but it knows precious little about what happens down here. We have our own laws, our own customs, and our own history. Thank you for talking to me. And we will have a look in the desk. We have some various bits and some coins there. Don't know how much. Certainly not going to try taking them. We'll come in here. Now this is why you should always look at shelves. Okay, so can't find anything in D, can't find anything in C, can't find anything in A. If we look in shelf B, we find a scroll of ice lances. So it's worth looking pretty much anything that you can look through. Really. Assuming you want to take the time which of course you may not. We come here. This is rations and supplies. Come here. This is Carol. There is a power woman working behind the counter. She has the jitters. What do you make here? Well, you can buy rations and I have some cows. How do you like raising cows? Well, I try to take care of the poor dears. I'd love to sell you some milk, she chuckles, for no apparent reason. But when I'm out there with them, I hear noises. How interesting. Noises, you say? Yes. Out behind my shop. Clunking and stuff. Makes me nervous. That much is obvious. By the way, how did you get cows down here? Sometimes the Empire is merciful and sends a few cows through the portal at Fort Vernon. Most of them die down here. We have a 
adapted though. They're power and sickly, but they survive on fungus. They're a good source of meat and milk. I suppose you have to make do with what you can. True enough, most of the time though, we just eat giant lizards. Even though the fungus the cows eat makes their milk and meat disgusting, they're still a luxury compared to lizard meat. Okay, so I'll look here. now let's buy some rations. We literally can do that. Can't sell anything. Not willing to buy it. Some mushrooms and dried meat and lizard haunch. Um, and we're done. Let's see what we can grab. We'll take the kitchen knife. Take the bread that can go to the Rizalo Rizalo carrier. Dried meat. And a plate. Up, that's what we got. So we've got some food, and we're getting some bits and bobs. And now let's see. There's a door here. Just think that noise is outside, right? The door appears to be locked. We're all like that. We're not very strong. We're not good at bashing open locks. There's no point trying. But to be honest. we can see out here it does look like it's just cows and there's no gate out there so we're not really in it the interesting thing is if you look on the auto map it's not actually showing any sort of fences so now let's go back to Anastasia Have you been able to get to your sister yet? Not yet. It's difficult to find someone who can bring her here. With so many bandits about, not that many caravans are going to Fort Vernon. Soon, though, we'll be able to fetch her here. Meanwhile, let's sell this stuff. Okay. And we'll check. They're not really worth much, so no one's willing to buy them at the moment. We could just give them away or get rid of them, but you never know. We might want to do that later. For now, we're slowly gathering some gold. And we might want to pick up something. We've not got enough for a helmet or gloves. And we've already got a cloak. Melissa doesn't have a cloak though. So you might want to leave that. And we're done. Enter map. Let's go and have a look soon. There is a small peculiar park in the middle of this town. Several of the Avernum trees, half wood, half fungus, surround a small pond. There are neither lily pads nor ducks, however, there is a lot of lichen and tiny lizards floating about. Strange. You hear someone humming nearby, but the sound doesn't seem to be coming from any of the town folk. Interesting. So they look see. We can look at the statues. Now one of them's obviously different. Let's see. Cast as a living statue. Okay, let's talk to the living statue. Look closer at the statue, it's cleaner than the others and a much nicer piece of craftsmanship to boot. Then it winks at you. Hey, you're a living statue. What are you doing here? I just stand here, watch, listen. It starts humming gently, unconcerned about your presence. Wait a moment, can I trouble you with another question? Blah blah. Not really got much to say, but. We might want to try and see if we can keep out an eye out for the living statues. Hmm. Yeah. I like to explore the outside of the walls if I can. I tend to do it very quickly. We've got actually got a nice river here. And I tend to do this just to kind of see how much I can fill in the automatic. 
There are spells that can do this for me, but I don't actually know them yet. So, not much there, and we come back out of here. Now, we've left Silvan, we might as well with a couple of clues of what's going on. Let's head back to Vernon, because we want to tell Warwick that we've found her sister. That's good. Quickly, go talk to me. Well, he's still sitting at the table, contemplating the soup. Her skin has not yet attained the promise of someone who has spent a lot of time in the family. I think that we have found Anastasia for you. She looks up for the first time. You see her smile. Really, my sister is safe. Where? We met. We have met Anastasia. She has stained in silver. Really? Oh, thank you. She stands and embraces you. My sister and I were foolish enough to question the Empire slaying all the, Nep the Nephilim in our province. We were sent down here, one after the other. I am poor and there is little I can do for you. However, I will be sure to tell you, tell all I meet, the, the kind travellers who took pity on me in my time of need. Thank you again. So we've done that. Our reputation's gone up. And we gained experience. Yeah. Let's have a quick wander around because there were some statues around here. It might be worth seeing if any of these are all of them statues. Doesn't appear like there's statues there. So we might be done here in Fort Vernon. A little bit of wandering around. Uh, let's have a quick, I might go up to see, press the info button to see how we're doing. 26, so we're a quarter of the way to Melissa's got a bit more. I don't know, I think that's from the trap that she um, she bypassed. But the others are pretty much all the same. So we've done that and we're back out. Now we know that Fort Dove no is north. What I like to do, we notice there's a little tunnel there, can't see because we can't get across. That's why we would need a boat. What I do like to do is go over to here. Okay, let's look at the sign. Yes. You read the sign, Kotra, 30 miles west. Murtis. 45 miles south, the castle, 200 miles south, 350 miles west, all distances are our best guess. Now, so I'll do that, we'll have a look, done that there, you can see Cotra's over there so we won't bother. Right now we could head south, head towards the castle, we could go to Cotra and see what's there, but We've had a lot of clues to go north, and that's the way I normally play this. And most of the walkthroughs I've seen, as in red, not actually played through, you can actually sit, and they actually tell you to go north as well. Plus, you'll find that it's actually on the same little map area. See, read the sign Fort Avernum, 300 miles south of Formello, 80 miles north, 
Beware of bandit territory to the north. If, for Mello, if you remember, was where the guy that um, tried to escape the portal to escape through the portal and done the experiment with the blue weird blue crystals was. So it might be worth following that as a part. But first, let's go straight in Fort Dovno. I mean, you'll notice how quick close these towns are. This is not representative of the map at all. It's just that, well, they wanted to make it easy, so you've got your first little quest and your first little bits to explore, I'm guessing, before it starts becoming, well, much more difficult. Hmm. Right, let's go to Fort see what help they need. Let's come in here. Um, that's a big impressive building in the middle. Let's have a look at that one, shall we? The barracks. Let's go and see the barracks. Lots of stuff in here. Grab a piece of paper. Let's look in the chests. We see what we got. Four chain mail. We never know. Sometimes you can find something. And I'm not powerful nor brutal enough. I mean, we've got bronze helmet and some blood. Not powerful enough or brutal enough to basically wander slaughtering around guards at this point. Oh, guys, we've got cave wood crossbow, steel pipe. And a shot. Not much in here. So we'll carry on exploring soon. We, go. we could probably take the bucket as well. You know, if it ain't now down, we will have it, sort of thing. Let's have a look at the sign. You read the sign. A small sign says, Jow, all for us, people only. So we've got a guard who doesn't want to talk to us, and we have Captain Johnson. You see a large, bearded man in gleaming steel armour. An iron halberd is strapped over his back. Clearly, he must be the captain of this fort. Fortunately, he looks glad to see you. How can I assist you, Captain? I could use some help protecting this fort from the bandits and Nephilim. It's my job not to rest until all the vermin are dead. But you have all these soldiers, what can I do? Our soldiers are the best, but we can always use some mercenaries too. The bandits are off balance now, and we can really use help against the Nephilim. He practically spits out the last word. There is a weird gleam in his eyes. What can you tell me about the bandits? I'm not too worried about them. They live in the fort to the west. They have destroyed several farms, but we are wearing them down. I'd like a chance to fight against some bandits. Can I help you? Definitely. The bandits have overrun a ruined fort to the west. They're led by a powerful mage. If that mage was gone, we'd have a much easier time with de dealing with them. Kill the magician and you'll be well rewarded. We haven't killed the brigand's commander yet. No. Nope. Didn't think you would, to be honest. It's probably too tough a mission for a bunch of wanderers like you. But if you can manage it, we'd appreciate it. Here is that sank else. Tell me more about the Nephilim problem. His face twists in a very disturbing way. Vicious vermin. I'd love to strangle everyone. They're building a new fort to the north. And I sent a small group to check it out. They killed them all. We need to nail that fort while it's small. He grins. Of course we're getting them back. We've got two in the cells. Died inside. Nephil prisoners. You're treating them fairly, I hope. He frowns. You must be newcomers. Only people who just arrived would say something so foolish. When you've lost friends and loved ones to those savages, then you come back and tell me about fairness. I'd like to help with your Nephilim problem. All right then, the new Nephil fort is to the north. It's being dug out by goblins right now. 
You can kill their commander, come back here and talk to me, and I will reward you well. Talk for now. So we've got a couple of quests in Fort Dogno, and here's where we start getting our big missions. Um, now the flag, no one wanted it anyway, obviously, otherwise they wouldn't have left it out. Lockpicks. Now I want to get some of those because without lockpicks, the locked doors we can't open. Look in here. Let's take a whip. It looks like these are doors. Flash down. Can actually see through the window though. Or a bit through the window. That looks like it's dead. That one is still alive. Let's try talking to him. You see a nephew. His fur is matted and greasy and he's clearly starving. A long gash on his leg festers untended. What are you doing in prison? I wait here to die, human. I will be avenged. Who will avenge you? He makes a weak growling noise. My tribe will have your captain dead, and all of you as well. You will all die in vengeance for your attacks on us. His voice is fading. Now go. I have said all I will to you. Leave me to die. Hmm. Interesting. There's, so, there's a bit of friction there. Which is not liked. Come out this side. Look at what's, let's see what's over here. This is Grimmett's Smithy. Let's see what we've got here. Ooh. Let's talk to Grimmett. The large man in front of you is huge, leather clad, and grimy. He holds a very large hammer. Nice shop. What do you deal in? I'm this blacksmith around here. I repair, pepper, repair weapons. I'm told, and the like. You can buy some here and sell your spares as well. Can you repair anything? Actually, I just do small repairs. Now, Belto up in Fort Draco, he can do some really good repairs. Is there really a demand for blacksmithing? Oh yes. The soldiers need fresh weapons as fast as I can provide them. The raids have been coming faster, not slower. Who's doing the raiding? Mostly from bandits, lately, with the big kitties taking up the slack. There used to be a lot of farms to the north, used to be. Now we're the only fort in this area who causes to think. You know, we could always use some help. Talk to Captain Johnson in the guardhouse across the street. Something else. Would you like to do some like selling? See what we've got. No, no, no. We'll sell the paper. Fuck it. Now you will notice we've got a, nice, a little bit more of a selection here. Not much in terms of the weapons and armour. Um, so, yeah, let's not have a. Okay, well done, but it's good for a second. So, cat. If there's anything we can grab in here. Ooh. Bar of iron, 50 coins, I think we will. Hmm, it's not very good. You may have noticed we just kind of nabbed the iron off the forge. I don't think he was paying attention. But that's good for us, not for him. Never mind. See if there's anything else he's got. Push that there. See, A, no, B, there's a bar of iron, C, D, bar of lead, E, bar of tin, F, and another bar of tin. But it's not really much. Yeah. But we will sell these back to him. We need the gold. And 
16 gold for something we found on his forge is not to be sniffed at. Door is locked. We'll grab the stone, not what we like. Coming up to 30 minutes, so um, I think there's a statue there. Let's see if we can talk to We can look at him. That's a statue there. We're talking to no. Let's see what we've got on the island. Oh, there's some guy here. Take the stick. We don't need a stick. It's not worth anything. Mm. Talk to this guy. This is a Scot. You see an old man sitting under a tree. He's fishing. Excuse me. What do you do when you aren't fishing? Well, not much. I used to be a farmer. Now I just do odd jobs and fish. Why did you stop farming? He speaks loudly for the first time in anger. Those cat bastards, they burned my farm. They wanted the land, so they took it. Johnson sent a group out to attack their new fort, but they never heard from, so I'm stuck here. He calms down and goes back to fishing. How's the fishing? Surprisingly good. The cave fish are pale and strange looking, but they make good eating. It's all for now. And what we'll do is we will grab this. There. Now, we could carry on. We've explored basically the central part of Fort Dovno. So what we will do, we will save it here. And continue in the next episode. Um, it's a quite small town, so it's not really got much to the exciting bit yet. But, as always, if you like what you see in here, please like, subscribe, share and comment as you wish. And hopefully I will see you next time. I've been Devane and this has been Let's Play Avernum.